Yo dudes, it is Blake from Green Knuckles and Cross, and we are back with the old camera. The last video's camera setup sucked. I freaking hated the quality, hated the audio, just sucked, overall sucked. So we're going back to the old OG setup, and that is this. As you can tell by the title of this video, we will be facing off with the cheapest head available on the market, and that is the Boomba Compressor. For those who don't know, Boomba specializes in making baseball equipment, so they love to make fanny packs, glitter, happy thoughts, sprinkles, flowers, you name it. But now they've slowly transitioned into the lacrosse world, and now they're starting to make equipment and gear. They've made gloves, elbow pads, shoulders, shafts, heads. If you go on the website, you'll find two heads that they offer. One of them is the more expensive one. It's about $15, I believe. I don't know the exact name of it, nor the exact price, but I think it's $15. And then you also have this option, the Bloomba Compressor, which I picked up for $4.99. No, my total did not come out to $4.99. You got paid for tax and you got paid for shipping. And I think the shipping was $7 or $8. So that combined with the price of the head and the tax, I came out to about $13 to $15 for a head shipped to my front door, which still isn't bad at all. Now I only bought one of these heads because I was pretty skeptical at first. $5 for a head, sounds like it's a piece of crap. Probably better off using it for toilet paper. But as soon as I got my hands on it, I was actually pretty impressed. At first glance, it looks like Boomba took 10 different molds from 10 different popular heads and put it all into one. The sidewall design alone looks like a combination of the Maverick Tactic, the Nike Lakota, the Nike CEO, and the scoop itself looks like it belongs to an Adidas head where the top string holes are squares rather than any other shape and the scoop itself is super flat. I mean, if you just look at the throat in the front, it looks just like a CEO's with that little triangle pointing down and this gap. And from the back, it kind of looks like a Lakota. Uh, not really, no, but somewhat like it with the two screws in the back. But the coolest thing about this throat, which I thought was something they definitely didn't do on purpose, but was a pretty cool little feature, was how the throat slants this way. So when we grip our shaft as a face-off guy, our hand doesn't touch the plastic, but it can be super close to it because it's going on the same angle as our hand. I thought it was a cool little Fogo-friendly feature that was in this head. Right on the tag, it says the head is ultra stiff, but I mean, this is a brand new head and it's moving around pretty well. It is kind of hot today in Florida, but man, this thing feels broken in already, pretty soft. I can tell you right now, the only portion of this head that's going to stay strong is from this strut down because it's so vertical. Most face-off heads don't have this, like the Dual doesn't even have it, but if it does, like a Nas or a Dictator, it's usually slanted this way. So this might be a problem, but the only true way of testing that out is if we take some reps with it, and that's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna pamper this head, we're going to absolutely demolish it. We're gonna break it in half, we're gonna beat the piss out of it, because I wanna see if it's an actual legitimate option for face-off guys. Worst case scenario, I don't like it. It's a waste of $5. I hate it, you're fired. Best case scenario, I like it, I buy 20 of them. I buy a million, you're hired. So without further ado, let's get this thing strung up and take it for a spin.
What does it feel like? The legacy. What? Speak English. What does the head feel like? I'm tired. What does it feel like? It feels like an OG razor when it flexes. That's it? But the plastic of a legacy. So after all the testing, this is how the head turned out. And I'd have to say this head performed and reacted a lot better than what I expected. Now this head did feel extremely strange to face off with. It kind of felt like a combination of the clutch, the legacy, a razor, and maybe the slightest amount of a nose. Like I pointed out earlier, this head was pretty much a noodle, except for about right here down where the strut was. I mean, if you just look at this, it's bending everywhere except for right where those struts are. It didn't do that bad of snapping back to its original shape after a face off. That's not that bad, I've seen worse. It was a very fun head to face off with. It slipped under when I was quicker to the whistle and it held up pretty strong when I was battling. The head held up great. I thought I was for sure gonna break it in half, but I couldn't at all. There's no breaks, there's nothing in the sidewall hole, sidewall structure, nothing. The only thing that it has is this weird kink where the head kind of comes down that way, down that way. Overall, pretty happy with how this head turned out. Um, the only bad things I saw was the warping and the strut. Other than that, it was a pretty good head. This would definitely be towards the top of the list of non-face-off heads that I would use for face-offs. In other words, I'd pick this over a Hawk, an Evo, a Lakota, those kinds of heads. I would take this over any of those. Mainly because the issues I had with this head weren't that drastic and because of the price. I can literally buy 20 of these for one face-off head, 20. I know I'm gonna continue to face off with this thing, one, because it's fun, and two, it's driving me nuts that I haven't broken it yet. Not even a simple sidewall hole crack. So I am going to continue my attempt to break it, and I'll keep you guys updated on Instagram. Go ahead and pick up one of these guys. If you like it, there you go. Spent $5 on the head you like. If you don't, you wasted $5, big deal. Five-star rating. Three and a half. But seriously, if you're thinking about picking up this head, don't hesitate. It's only $5. I can't preach that anymore. It's $5. I had fun using it. I'm sure you would too. And that wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any more questions on the Boomba compressor or any questions in general, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. If you guys have any cheap head recommendations that I should try facing off with, go ahead and leave them down there as well. Like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel. If you haven't already, check us out on Instagram at Green Knuckles Across and check out our sweet hats available at GreenKnucklesAcross.com. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Till then, kids, get them dirty.